Hello, Jim. Fajitas, indeed. Is that what you're having for lunch, mate? <laughs> That's a shame. That's a shame. Well, welcome, everybody, uh, to what is probably going to be a bit of a long flight, I should think, but hopefully a nice kind of chilled out afternoon flight in the H145. We're going to fly here from uh, Balmoral, uh, over to the Cairngorm National Park, have a scoot around there, uh, head over to Ben Nevis, and then we're going to scoot over to Sky and uh, and have a look around there as well. Um, so it might take a couple of hours. Certainly don't expect anyone to strap in for the whole thing, but uh, it should be uh, it should be quite a relaxing one anyway. If you're watching on YouTube, by the way, um, I will be doing normal YouTube videos as well, but this is just something new that I'm trying out on Twitch and then uploading to YouTube. Mate, a barbecue right now would be absolutely fantastic, wouldn't it? I could do that. I could do that right now. Right. Anyway, let's uh, get everything sorted out. So we need to load in the crew. And close all the doors. And I just realised I uh, opened mine. That's right, mate. Good to have you lurking. Uh, another friendly. Good to have you with us. Big Ben Jones, thank you for following, mate. Good to have you here. Okay, so we've done that. Uh, I am going to quickly set up, up some missions. Although we're not going to be using that just yet. What else do I need to do? Oh, we need to uh, we need to pack up pack up our camp. Seeing as we uh, we don't need that. Did ask for some rooms in uh, Barmoral here, but unfortunately uh, they did say that our boots might dirty the floor a bit, so uh, we didn't get anywhere with that. So let's just get rid of the camp. Do, do, do. Okay, and let's clear. Yep, that's good. Okay, so we should be clear now. Ah, thank you, Big Ben Jones. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's something a bit new that I'm trying out. Um, I will still be doing the YouTube videos, but uh, just trying a bit of uh, bit of streaming. So it's good to have you here, mate. Right. Okay. Uh, so let me show you, where are we? There we go. So this is where we are at the moment, over at Balmoral Castle. We're going to fly down this way, then we're going to head up into the Cairngorms National Park for a scoot around there, go up around Aviemore, and then down here, past QC, Newton Moor, Lagan, uh, we will go to uh, Speen Bridge, uh, have a quick look at the... Uh, Royal Marines Memorial. Uh, I'm not sure how that's going to look in the sim, but it's worth uh, worth a look at anyway. Have a look at Ben Nevis and then come across here up to Sky where we will finish. Hopefully, unless I run out of time because I'm doing so much waffling and prattling about. So anyway, that's what we're going to be. Uh, that's what we're going to be doing there. Okay, so I just need to reset that. Okay, seems to be getting a lot of raids at the moment, which is unusual. Okay. Right, let's get everything started up. Get the prime pumps on. We'll get some lights on. Leave everything else where it is. Just reset their tracking. Just checking here to get our power up okay message. Do, do, do. 
Everything is good. Okay, I'm just going to acknowledge that. Right, so let's go for engine one start. Uh, I don't know about mountain skid rescues. <laughs> I don't think I'm quite in that level of ninja skills at the moment. Could be interesting though. Okay, everything's looking good there. Let's uh, fire up engine two. Let's just have a quick look here. Ts and Ps are good. Let's check our voltage. Yeah. Right. So let's get all the bits and bobs on. Pito heat on. I leave ECS to pilot. And we're good to go there. Check down here, that's fine. Just need the autopilot systems on. I'll leave the uh, atrium off at the moment. I'm not going to be using the GTNs. Oh, okay. Boy, well, is that uh, their mission set up to do skid rescues in the Cars. Alps? System test, okay. We're just talking about how steep the, uh, the angles are. Right, let's get the engines to flight. Okay, everything's good there. Right, so let's head on our way. I'm just going to set the map up there. Okay, I've got that. Yeah, I've, I've not tried it in the Alps. I'll have to give that a try. It's a fantastic, uh, fantastic mod, that. Right, I'm going to concentrate now. That's what happens to get chatting and then I don't fly the damn thing. wind is behind us, so I'll scoot us around a bit. And then we can take off into wind and watch the trees. Terrain ahead, pull up. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Let's turn that off straight Terrain away. ahead. Pull up. And when I'm in a position to, I'll turn it off in the aircraft as well. I do love this helicopter. It's great fun to fly. Do a quick 
quick flight over Balmoral. And we will turn that off. So it's pretty well modelled actually. Okay. Let's just get to a position where I can turn that off. <laughs> I am. Yeah, it's the latest uh, latest build. Okay, where is it? Come on, you are here somewhere. There we go, mute. So pretty lucky with the weather, this is, uh, this is live weather. There's a little bit of a wind, but nothing too bad. And uh, the cloud is all right. 500. Uh, what do you know that I don't, Ben? <laughs> I've not flown this uh, this latest build much, but uh, I flew the helicopter here from just up the road and it seemed to be behaving quite well. But I have a feeling you know something that I don't. Look at that scenery, it's amazing. This is the River D that we're just following at the moment. This is very much a chilled out scenery viewing flight by the way, so don't expect any philosophy or anything like that, but it's good to have you along. I love how the, in the scenery there, you've got like the, uh, the river banks, that's just what it's like. Bridge of D there. So yeah, we'll just have a, a bit of a chilled out flight, do a bit of winching once we get to the mountains. Um, I am going to do another video at some point, probably in um, on YouTube, where I'm going to look at the, I uh, can never remember the name of it, the mod everywhere, anywhere, whatever it's called, which is really clever a really good way of setting up uh, multiple um, jobs in the hems but what I will do is use the inbuilt uh, inbuilt one I love this repaint by Panther Repaints it's probably the one I fly most of the time now Just fantastic. Oh, okay. I uh, I have been. I have seen VRS in action uh, in this build, actually. So I think I know what you mean now. Oh, okay. You're talking about the danger sign. Uh, yes, I don't know. I must admit, I am a little bit of a rookie in uh, helicopters. People keep telling me about the DCS helicopters. I have, um, I have got the Apache and the Huey, but I've never really flown them. Just going behind Braemar here. That's where the Highland Games are down there when they're doing it. It's more up ahead, actually. Is it over there? But yeah, people keep telling me that DCS is uh, is where it's at with helicopters. And I do need to get the Huey out at some point. Now I've got a bit of practice in this flight simulator. 
uh, it would be interesting to give the Huey a go which doesn't have the same kind of level of assists and all that kind of stuff <laughs> you're right Ian how you doing mate you don't have to be functional you can just uh, stick around for as long as you want mate This scenery is just gorgeous. I love flying around here in uh, VR as well. But uh, I thought I'd go pancake mode for this. But it's just so... Um, so immersive. Okay, I've never flown Aerofly. I've absolutely no idea what, uh, what it's actually like. Yeah, it's the MI8 that I think people tend to mention the most, interestingly. And that's the one I haven't got. That's the only thing I find frustrating sometimes about the scenery in this, is you get those patches like there where you've got a photograph of treetops, but no actual trees. It just reminds me a little bit of um, like old P3D scenery just realised I'm flying so slowly because I'm gawping at the scenery. Let's get a wiggle on. Oh God, I think that's the first time I've ever seen anyone say they hate the MI8. glitch in the scenery there. We've got magic water that can go uphill a little bit. Amazing. So how you doing lads? You alright? You alright in the back? Yeah. Oh, they're still not, still not talking. Give them a, a night up in the Highlands camping. Uh, another friendly. On royal property. Wow, two-tone Murphy. It is an honour, sir. An honour indeed to have you here. Good to see you. Yeah, so I gave him a night uh, camping up in the Highlands. Chilling out on royal property. And you'd think they'd be a little bit happier, but uh, they're still not saying anything, unfortunately. Oh, we've got some funny stuff going on there. I suppose actually it could be, uh, you could have a water running through the rock. But this is just gorgeous. Normally this time of year, I'm actually up here uh, in the Cairngorms camping. But uh, unfortunately this year I haven't been able to get up here. So this is my uh, substitute for getting up here in the real world. Uh, do I have names for my crew? I don't. I have names for the squadron dog who was back at the campsite. If you uh, if you joined before we went live, uh, Duxford is his name. <laughs> he was sitting in the tent. Uh, we've left him behind. He quite fancied uh, having a chat with the corgis, so he's uh, he is still there. But no, I haven't named the lads yet. I should really do that. Um, but they're such a miserable bunch I uh, just haven't had the inclination yet maybe when they start talking I might do that it's almost quite selfish actually I just realised it's almost quite selfish this stream because I get a huge amount of pleasure out of just winding along in a helicopter through here but um it's not like you're getting lots of crash bang wallops and all that sort of thing for it, but uh, it's just beautiful. It really is beautiful. We will do a spot of saving lives once we actually get up into the mountains, uh, which is where we're going to head now. So the, the River D here actually heads up 
now towards its source up in the uh, up in the mountains, which is where we're going now. Uh, yes, you can get the helo to talk, but uh, I've turned that off. I've turned that off because we're going to get a lot of terrain warnings around here. Oh, the midges. So, um, I've tried everything. And then I read about a, and just bear with me on this, bear with me on this, keep an open mind. A, uh, a spray, an oil spray that Avon do, that apparently uh, is very popular with the Royal Marines and the SAS. And uh, it's not a bug spray, but the midges hate it. And I've got to say, it is the best thing I've used so far for keeping the midges off. But they are little bastards. They really are. And it's amazing how uh, you can find an ideal spot to chill out in. Strange texture there. Uh, really nice spot to chill out in and then uh, yeah you suddenly get attacked by the midges but yeah I've got the, the midge hats and all that kind of stuff I've got the candles just need a, a midge gun hey guy hope you're well thanks for coming in ah Lewis is Lewis here he is here a plane without wings. Dude, one of these days, one of these days, you will feel the love of the Halley Whopper. So we're coming up into the Cairngorms now. Looks like there's a bit of cloud ahead, which is a bit disappointing, because I was hoping that we could actually see some scenery, so I might have to cheat on the weather a little bit, just so we can see the scenery. But look at the detail. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, I thought that might be you, Guy. I had a feeling. Good to have you here, mate. <laughs> yes, Lewis. I'm looking forward to seeing what the Hueys in armour are like, actually. Should be quite interesting. So here we are, just following the D up to its source. Coming up to Coral Bothy. These are tiny little huts that you get dotted around up here that uh, are used by climbers and hikers. You can use them as um, shelter if you get caught out in the weather. And there's usually stuff left behind in them from previous visitors. Might leave a bit of firewood or some food or something. DRO missions. What's that, Ian? What is that? So that there, that big hefty thing there is Ben McDewey. So it is. I need to zoom the map out a bit so I can actually anticipate where I'm going next. Because I know I need to climb. So yeah, that's Ben McDewey up there. That's one of the big ones. That's a nice shot there. That's the problem, when you start pratting about in outside views in helicopters, it all goes pear-shaped. So let's get control again. Dynamic Recon Ops. Oh, okay. Let's concentrate flying up this one. Five hundred. Uh, it'll be tomorrow now, Lewis, mate. I should think. How are you finding it? I'm really interested to see what you think of it. 
Oh, as you see, I've not been concentrating. We need to hop over here. So let's wallop on some collective. 500. Over the top. I love the detail. Look at that path. Of course, this means a, a lot more if you've been up in this neck of the woods. <laughs> Otherwise, you're probably just thinking, it's just hills. It's just hills with lines on. Why is he getting so excited? Yeah, it's nice over Oban Connell Way. I have got a... There's a free uh, download for this neck of the woods, which is quite old, but I did download and it adds a few... I think it adds a few objects, so I've got that, but it's, um, I've not gone hunting in it yet. Here we go, and down oh, over the edge. Stunning detail. Let's not overcook it, sunshine. Yeah, armour is great fun. So Lewis, do you find that, um, is it quite intuitive? Oh, there's some tents down there. There's a couple of objects. Um, yeah, do you find that it's, uh, is it quite intuitive? Let's concentrate on where you're going, you idiot. Bothy there. It does never cease to amaze me that all this, this scenery is, um, it's just a fault. And it's what you'd see if you were up here. Just amazing. Scooting around the back now. Very nearly brought the LOS out, but uh, I haven't really fallen in love with the looks of it enough yet to want to do that. Plus, also, at least uh, the H145 has got some built in rescue bits and bobs going on. Cutting Pete there. Interesting. For some reason, my uh, frames keep getting hit by something. But not uh, entirely sure what that is. Yeah, I agree, Ben. It would be cool to. Uh, be able to fly this sort of thing in, in other helicopters. I'd love to do it in the 222B. So, scoot round here, and we're going to come over the green lock. There it is. It's a bit of a landmark round here. It is actually green. Quite deep. I think it's green because of the, mir the minerals and that sort of thing that are in it. Of course, uh, the, uh, the tale about it is that it's green because it's where the fairies go to wash their clothes. 
which is uh, very quaint. I actually got a bit of a shock. First time I went there with my lads, um, we went up and uh, of course they saw water and wanted to go paddling. So they went paddling in it and uh, was it the next year we went? Saw a leech in the water before they got anywhere near it. Looked it up and apparently it's absolutely teeming with leeches. Uh, that there, I forget the name, is a um, like a winter sports, mountain sports centre. Um, we're just going to scoot over here. This is Loch Morlich. There's a campsite just there, Glenmore campsite. Been there a couple of times. And there's Loch Morlich Beach. So I think it's time we did a landing. This is meant to be a bit of a training flight as well for me. That FPS is awful. What's causing that? Right, let's knock off the trim. Interesting. Just trying to get a feel for it. Oh, okay, we've got a uh, got a crosswind, which isn't ideal. Really, we want to be landing into wind, but the beach is pointing that way, so there's not much I can do about that. Just dodge the boat. Sloping beach as well, so it's kind of deceptive. Okay, what happened then? Why does it pause just when you're trying to land? There we go, we're down. Uh, yeah, frustrating. Sorry, just looking at the chat. I have to have a look at that. <laughs> I wish, Lewis, I wish. Unfortunately, uh, tonight I have duties. Oh, that's a screenshot. It's interesting that the FPS is playing out. I wonder if that's something to do with the stream. Because it's not normally like this. Love this helicopter. Love this beach. This beach is actually crazy in the uh, in the summer. That is actually um, like sand, and it just gets full of people. You'd think you were in Spain or something um, on the rare day that you actually get some really nice weather. But uh, it is quite beautiful. Right, so the sim is frozen up. Afternoon, Ian. Hope you're well. Let's see if we can get it back again. Oh no, that's working. So it might. Oh, I know what it is. It's just the head tracking. There we go. Head tracking's back. Right. 
<laughs> well, Ian P, I should think you know a thing or two about uh, about uh, military things. I should think you're probably quite handy when it comes to armour. Right, let's just stop talking and concentrate. Remember that beach is sloping, so what looks like me having nose down is actually the way the beach is. So we'll just back away from it. Work on some collective. Uh, come round. That's interesting. I'm going to have to uh, have a look at that because the FPS is definitely getting uh, hammered by something and it must be something to do with the stream. So I'm just set up to Cairngorm Mountain and this has got some additional bits in it from the uh, that pack that I was talking about. Well, there you go, Ian. I think uh, at the end of the day, if you can shoot what you're looking at, then that's pretty handy. I would say, especially in armour. Let's be careful there, putting on a bit too much power. So that's the Cairngorm Ski Centre just there. Uh, I think the pack I've got added some buildings to it that, um, whilst not being completely accurate, aren't far off the basic shape of it. I mean, that, look, that looks recognisable. You've got the car park there. Unfortunately, the, there's no mesh, so the car park is on quite a slope. Um, so landing on it is a bit tricky. And then this is the funicular railway, which again has been added by the, uh, the pack I got. And whilst concentrating on the funicular railway, let's not bang into anything painful. There's the train. So I'm just going to come round a bit. Come round the top. Keeping the speed on, but at the same time, making sure we're climbing. So there's the summit of Cairngorm there. Yeah, FPS getting absolutely caned over here. This is the uh, first time it's done this in the stream. I'm going to try something. I've got the uh, hype operation centre open. I wouldn't thought that that would okay it's 
looks a little bit better, I think. Maybe not. Buffed it around a bit. The scenery is just gorgeous. Really is quite beautiful. So realistic. Right, let's concentrate on this hillside. in that curry. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is, Lewis. It's not... Um, I mean, I was going to say, you must be able to see it on the stream, but uh, getting over into this area, the FPS has gone a bit wobbly, which doesn't normally do. I fly around here quite a lot. Um, 500. So there's obviously something going on. It could must presumably be something to do with the stream. Oh, okay, cheers. That's good. That is good to know. Loch Eynick down there. Which is uh, getting quite a distinctive shape. It's a long valley. What a long loch. Let's just bring it round. Of course with helicopters, the smoother the FPS, the uh, easier it is to fly smoothly. If anyone saw the parallel 42 campsite video that I did, but that was the that was where the camp was, just down there. Right, let's get a wiggle on. certainly does Ian. It is in its mer mer what's it called? Meandering phase. Five hundred. Yeah, I don't know Jim. I'll have to have a look at that. I can't remember what uh, what I've got set up doing it, but that's a good point. It's the same as whatever it was in the last streams I've done, so uh I don't know. It's uh, I've not changed much since um, doing this one, so it'll be interesting to see. Uh, it could be something in this area. It could be the the add-on that I've got. I've got a little add-on that adds some objects in this area for um, doing search and rescue missions, and uh, I don't know if that could be could be doing something. Certainly kicked in there, but it's um, certainly something I need to uh, investigate. I don't know, Ian, it possibly. Be interested to see at what point it uh, starts to phase out. See if it's actually 
you know, on a locality. But that is, yeah, that's very sticky. So yours just disappeared, did it, Ian? Sod's law, isn't it? <laughs> I was actually flying in this area uh, a few days ago. No problem at all. Same settings that I've got now. No issues. And when the flight started, it seemed to be okay. And actually, when I flew over to Balmoral uh, from the east earlier, it was okay. So, yeah, interested to see when this disappears. Okay. Yeah, that lag turning the head and everything is uh, pretty horrendous. So let's see if it goes when I get out of here. Uh, how are we off for fuel? Not too bad. Might have to phone ahead to the boys with the uh, Land Rovers and get them to meet us in a field somewhere. Top us up a bit. They're very good at that. in again though. Just uh, there was a message in the chat before from I think it was Bossman Gaming. I saw you were trying to put some commands in. Uh, what was it you were trying to get hold of mate? showed it at the beginning. It's really kind of all over the place. Um, this is Lock Garton, if anyone is uh, familiar with it. Oh, those FPS, good God. Tanking there. Um, yeah, so it started off at Barrowmoral, coming over to the Cairngorm National Park, uh, heading over to Ben Nevis now, and then across to Sky. Oh. Simmer's pause. Always interesting when it does that. Server I am on is uh, West Europe, but this isn't a group flight. I'm just, uh, there's no one up here with me. I'm just, um, just flying. Yeah, that song was going through my head as well, Ian. And a few others. Take the High Road always seems to pop in at some point. Crossing the River Spey there. Well, I think it's safe to say I'm not going to be uploading this to YouTube with this stuttering. It's uh, pretty awful.
this is Lokvar. Uh, you just see the boathouse just down there. That's um, the boathouse. Lokvar is one of those many photographed things. Ah, I know what I've done. I changed the road traffic. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I changed the road traffic, didn't I? I bet that's it. Traffic, let's put it back to where it was. And about there. Mm, not really made a blind bit of difference, I don't think. Yeah, I've never really had to do that, Ben. I know what you mean. Um, but I fly... I mean, I mainly fly in the UK. It's just uh, paused again. But I... Um, yeah, I don't tend to have... Well, I don't think I've ever had this issue before. So it's, uh, it's an odd one. I wonder if, like Lewis said, it's something to do with the online servers. Maybe doing something. This is Abby Moore. Okay, it's a bit smoother now. Ironically, as we come over a built-up area. I'm sure some of you have heard of Avonmore. Avonmore's just the, the kind of local town for this uh, area in terms of like a you know resort you've got all your shops there's a McDonald Highland Resort there the railway station that the uh, old steam train goes to that's the road off to uh, the Cairngorms and Loch Morlick so we're going to head on down here down the A9 and uh, we're going to head over to Ben Nevis. Well, it definitely feels smoother now. I wonder if it was the... Um, I wonder if it was the road traffic after all. I'd messed about with it earlier and totally forgot but that's much nicer now oh didn't want to do that Jesus Christ press the wrong button there oh it's like being in FSX <laughs> let's load all the scenery in again there we go That's better. Look, Alvi. Oh, let me just uh, wang it around here and just test how smooth it is. Yeah, that's much smoother. There you go, folks. Lesson learned. Do not mess about with road traffic. It is not worth it. That church there is actually there in real life. And uh, it's quite picturesque. Let's see if I can wang it around so we can actually see it. There we go. Very picturesque view, that, from the road. Right, let's head on. By the way, thank you and uh, salute to everyone who is uh, still with the stream. I did say at the beginning it's probably going to be a bit of a, a long and meandering one because uh, it's just a chilled out flight in a beautiful part of the world. Love it. So that's the A9. That's the main route down from Inverness down through this area. Just follow that for a little bit. Do 
Cheers, Ben. Thanks for joining, mate. Good to have you along. Lewis, you're going to have to teach me how to do channel points. I think there is there is channel points. Thinking about it, because I remember looking at something before, and uh, it kind of showed a list of names of followers and um, how many points they'd got. So I guess I must have that. What to do with it? I haven't got a clue. I have got heist set up. If you want to try heist. I'm flying the helicopter, shouldn't I? much smoother. Wouldn't have expected to have had much traffic up in the mountains though so that doesn't make a huge amount of sense but uh, I think I'll try taking out that add-on that I downloaded and see if that helps. But having said that I was flying there the other day with no problem so that can't be it. I'm talking out loud at this point or thinking out loud rather. <laughs> trying to just think through what it could be. Chris is here. Hello, Chris. I hope you are well. <laughs> Bless your heart. It's lovely to see you here. Got a bit transfixed with following the uh, A9. So let's come off here. This is uh, King Usi. Just there. Ah, it is lovely to be up here, even if it's simulated. Sorry, Lewis, I don't mean to laugh about the rib thing. So what happened? Is this, uh, is this a case of domestic violence or was this just uh, an accident? Ben Nevis, exactly. We're going to Ben Nevis now just to have a look. That down there is the Highland Folk Museum, which does not look very folkish in the sim, but you can see where the buildings are. I don't remember there being a dirty great uh, wind power turbine there. It's Newton Moor. Ah, the old tickling thing. How I miss that. The sound of the screams, the terror, the surprise, not knowing where the next attack is going to come from. <laughs> yeah, I kind of need to keep my ribs intact though, Chris. <laughs> 
I'm older, you see. The damage that's been done to Lewis is, is, you know, on me it would be much worse. <laughs> is that the key, not running away? <laughs> right, so we're still coming down the River Spey and uh, heading over towards Lagan. I'm going to ask a question here. I'm guessing the answer is probably going to be no for most people, but have you ever watched Monarch of the Glen? that lagging in your fact checking again old boy okay yeah I don't think anyone's really watched Monarch of the Glen has anybody watched The Crown oh chocolate orange brownies who needs to fly who needs Ben Nevis when you've got chocolate orange brownies? Yeah, it's much smoother now. Much smoother. Okay, so how about mountains and brownies? Imagine camping up in the mountains with a box of brownies. Sounds pretty good to me. Exactly. A good combo, that's what I think. probably helps loving this place so much and knowing what it's like in real life maybe the imagination kind of fills in the gaps of what the sim can't put in but I could honestly do this for hours because it just feels like you're there concentrate on flying it you idiots honestly gawping out the window A little bit off piste here, but I think that might be quite a nice. Let's have a look at the map. Yeah, we need to come up over the top. Watch the power. So, yeah, if you have watched Monarch of the Glen, care for the trees. If you have watched The Crown, uh, if you remember the crown in Balmoral. In, no, Balmoral in the crown. Can't fly and talk at the same time. Uh, it's uh, the location they use is a place called Ardvariki. It's an estate. And in Monica the Glen, it was the seat of the laird. And it's just over here. Now, if memory serves me right, in the sim it looks absolutely pants the building itself because it's just autogen but uh, the location is just gorgeous cheers Jim take care mate good to see you I'll see if I can bring us around over the top of it if I've been here since they did the update so maybe it's uh... no it looks like it's still Dunder Mifflin
well, have I missed the... Yeah, it's just up ahead, isn't it? It's looking the wrong place. Just up here. Let's whack it round. Uh, whapping it round is, of course, a... I don't want to get too technical on the stream. Um, I know some people just want to chill out. Uh, whapping it round is a is a uh, term that it's really only known to helicopter pilots. But there you go. There's uh, Dunder Mifflin, otherwise known as Ardvariki. Actually, oh, at least they've tried to make it look like an old house. Yeah, that looks better than it did the last time I saw it. But yeah. Lovely little location, that. If you happen to be making any uh, movies or period dramas, don't you pause. Then uh, it's a great location for it. Right, let's keep an eye on that water. So we'll head across now to Speen Bridge and see what the monument's like. Just realised I've got a mug of tea here that I haven't uh, touched, so transferring the stick to the left hand. Left hand! Get the mug. Have a glug. Pass it back to the guy in the back. Thank you, lads. You're right. You're right. Still not talking. Right, let's get going. Got reasonably good speed. Uh, yeah, let's go. come up here. shadow of the helicopter on the ground there. What I'll do is once we get over towards Ben Nevis I'll um, we'll stick a mission in. Uh, it's interesting, we've got a fuel pump advisory come up. So, let's just get it stable. Do, 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 do. Bum, bum, bum. That's all good. Yeah, concentrate on your flying, your Burke. Actually, why don't we land? Why don't we land? Yeah, guys, can you uh, can you phone up ahead and get them to bring the Land Rover over, and then we can get some uh, get some fuel in. We're going to do a hot refuel. So tell them to have their big boy pants on. Where is the road? Try and get close to the road. long flight so uh, we probably could do with adding it on a bit. Did I see a car park down there? Yeah, okay. just uh, plop it down here in the field that's another technical helicopter term 
As I say, don't want to baffle anyone. What's the wind doing? There we go. Right, let's just have a quick look up here. Do, 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 do. That's fine. Everything's looking good. Lovely jubbly. Right, we'll assume the lads are here with the Land Rover. So. Where's the coast to go? Um, Let's take on some more fuel. There we go. Loads of fuel. Just have a quick check, see that everything's okay. Right, let's uh, head on our way. Let's quickly check. Let's take the A trim off. And. move on. Welcome back Orbital. <laughs> ah, another friendly. Good to have you with us. Airspeed Live. Thanks for joining. Good to have you here. Gorgeous day. So lucky. When I was up here last year camping, it was. I think the first day we arrived, it was gorgeous. Watched the sun go down over the lock in the evening, and then for the rest of it, it was. Uh, we've got a dam up here. Well, it would be rude not to have a look at that, eh? finest dams. Now, do we have any Harry Potter fans in the house? Give me tea, lads. Thank you. Waterfall there. There was actually quite a well-known waterfall in this area, but I don't know if that was it. I've not got the map uh, 
zoomed in enough to pick up that detail, which I should have really. No, it wasn't. However, if anybody wants any uh, guides on local B&Bs, I can point those out as we go. Accommodation information can be provided. Okay. Well, you probably know where we're going, I should think. One of the places that we're going to go to. I, uh, I've not seen it in the sim yet. Because I must confess, at the risk of initiating anger, horror, deep, deep disappointment, I am not in the slightest a Harry Potter fan. But I do know that we've got the Glen Fennan Viaduct. The only time I've ever been to the Glen Fennan Viaduct is, um... Oh, uh, what's it called? Alt A crossing. That, uh, car racing game. Interesting, just had a little warning there. Alt A crossing, it sounded like. We've not got any autopilot on apart from just the basic stability assists. Forza, that's it. Yeah, Forza, you can run over to the Glenfin and Viaduct. Um, there's a mission uh, that starts at the Viaduct, I vaguely remember. Because that was uh, another occasion where I was saying to my kids, Oh, it looks just like Scotland, it's just like being there. Right, so we're coming up on the Commando Memorial here, and I'm going way too fast. So let's kill some speed and see if we can uh, just bring it round gently. I'm not expecting much in the sim, to be honest. There it is. Is that a tree or is that... Yeah, it's a tree. That's a shame. So that's the uh, memorial there. Of course, the... During World War II, the Royal Marine Commandos trained up here. But that's the uh, that's the memorial to them down there. There's a little statue. Looks like I've been cutting peat over there. Right, let's uh, come back around and head on our way. Yeah, it seems to. Um, from what I can see at Speed Live, and my experience of it is very limited, is that it seems to compact uh, some features into a small map. Like, I, I want to say it's got Rannoch Moor in there, or it, maybe it gives it a different name. But it, uh, it seems to have some different features in there, I guess just to give it some variety, and because the Glenfin and Viaduct is so well known. Uh, you know, it's an opportunity to um, whack it in there. Okie doke. So that's Ben Nevis over there. So let's um, let's head over. And what I will do is let's have a rescue nearby mountain accident. Get the click spot. There we go. A group of hikers has reported one of their group is injured. Your job is to fly to the scene of the accident, pick up the hiker and take him to a nearby hospital. Okay. 
so I want it relatively nearby because uh, this flight is going to be long enough without me faffing around doing that so we need to go this way and see if we can find them saving lives now people this is really serious really serious overpowering it a bit there so we just need to climb up towards Ben Nevis now that's what I love about this helicopter you can fly around ah uh, there's the flare up there that's the distress flare you can fly around and sightsee and do all that good stuff and then every now and again if you want to you can just uh, flick in a emergency 500 let's keep that rate of climb in what I'm going to do is uh, head up this valley and then come round wind is coming from uh, 100 okay so that works so ideally we want the nose pointing into the wind that would be the sensible thing to do right lads you ready in the back you're working up Okay, keep it climbing up this valley. Coming off on the speed now. Does it? Let's go and have a look. It's the only thing with this is trying to keep everything visible. Five hundred. could probably actually land land or hoist vote in the chat but be quick <laughs> I'll come back over this way take us back around while you're having a think about it okay we've got a hoist no other takers Okay, hoist it is. Let's uh, switch to hoisting. So the loadmaster in the back now is uh, getting ready. I guess uh, no, with an RAF helicopter, so it'd be loadmaster, wouldn't it? Let's get Viz again. 500. Get some height. So I'm not going to use the um, autopilot hover. I'm just hand flying it, taking out the auto cyclic trim so I'm not fighting that. And then we'll just gently bring it in. Bring the nose around a little bit actually. So the only disadvantage with doing this is you can't actually see what the uh, winchman is doing, but hopefully he's dangling down is going to touch down on the ground. Or 
would actually be really handy to see what the winchman is doing at this point. That's why we use the autopilot. round a bit. Don't think he's gotten out. No, he's still there. He's thinking, you having a laugh? You think I'm going to go down this cable while you're faffing about doing that? Yeah, that's the good thing about that. Um, can't remember the name of it, the anywhere and everywhere uh, uh, thing. Oh, there's the winchman. You do actually get audible, so you know what he's doing. There he is. There's the doctor. Oh, he's just gone underground. Very clever. So we did dangle him and he must have jumped off. But yeah, it would be kind of cool if you did get a, uh, in these missions, if you did get an audible to say he was off. Right, let's just... Uh, come over here so we'll let him do what he needs to do we'll have a quick look up at uh, Ben Nevis meanwhile the patient in agony is saying come back guess we don't want to go too far or he might actually uh, void the mission maybe Nothing like a bit of sightseeing while we're saving lives, boys, eh? So here we are. What's the power there? The summit of Ben Nevis. So it's saying crew operations are in progress, so the dock is uh, still sorting out the patient. Okay, he's ready now, so let's uh, not mess about, let's remember we're here to help our patient and not to dick about looking at the scenery. 500. So let's go back, I want to try and get on the other side of that ridge again so that I can approach it into wind. Try and be gentle about it. Five hundred. Let's just make sure we got the cyclic trim off there and get the release catch ready. do this time so we can actually see the winching is I'll uh, I'll use the autopilot so let's come round 500 lose some of that height see why it's so important in when they're doing this in real life to have crew members calling out assists I don't really think I'm in a position to I haven't got a button set up to flick the auto 500 on. let's just try something I do not like doing this while I'm trying to fly. So uh, I rarely use the autopilot because I'm trying to 
make sure that I'm hand flying it. So let's um, go for the wrong one, haven't I? There we go. And let's come back round. 500. Don't worry, we're coming, everybody. They're all there wondering what the hell is going on. All this faffing about, we're way too high. Uh, let's very quickly... There we go. Okay, so we're now in hover mode. I think we're a little bit too high, because that certainly does not look like it's going down, so let's just come down a little bit. Yeah, I'm in a mode that I can control it. just locked up. There we go. So we've got the autopilot hover mode on. We're now coming down and uh, our chap's already hooked on. Let's come around to the other side so we can see the what's going on. Get ready to take a screenshot. <laughs> so I never get these outside screenshots with the winch coming up. There we go. Right, he's in. Hello Jim, good to see you back. Good to have you back, Ben. Right, let's uh, get rid of you. And let's get going. So we need to find the hospital now, so let's come out of that and find out where it's sending us. Select hospital from the map. Again, I don't want, uh, I don't want to be flying too far away. Wow. Let's take that one. Is that a hospital though? I think it is. We've not got a hospital for... Uh, have we got one on Sky? I don't think that is a hospital. Oh yeah, it is. It's just getting the click spot. There we go. Accept destination. Right. So laddie, you are coming with us on our little trip. But uh, you're going to have to come via Glen Finnan because we're going there for the Harry Potter fans. No, we're not on Sky yet, Ben. Uh, we've just uh, bravely rescued a civilian from uh, the side of Ben Nevis and we're heading now towards Sky. Um, but he'll be all right. He'll be alright. He's, uh, unlike the add-on, which I still can't remember the name of, that actually, um, measures the state of the casualty. So we would have picked that guy up now and it would be telling us, uh, you know, 
the state of the casualty and dicking about like we are here, going sightseeing before dropping it off, uh, would probably result in death. I should say at this point that uh, in no way is this meant to be an accurate simulation of uh, how we would deal with a casualty because um, that wouldn't be very good but uh, it's just a chilled out stream so I thought why not do a bit of a winch job on the top there and then we can drop him off at Sky. Everywhere and anywhere that's it. Exactly Ben, there is nothing like a bit of Highland air to uh, speed up recovery, especially when it's breathed from a helicopter. Lads, can you pass me the tea from the back please? Thank you. Right. A wee drum. A wee drum always works. The uh, health benefits of a wee drum. There's a lot of stuff in Scotland that's good for you. A wee dram, although I must admit I'm not a whiskey drinker, but everyone loves it. Iron brew, come on. Iron brew is, is one of the best hangover cures known to man. And you get into Scotland and they give you iron brew with a uh, Big Mac meal if you want it. It's all good. Lawn sausage. Lawn sausage. It's all good. Why have a sausage that's cylindrical? No. We'll make it square. Beautiful. That with... Uh... Sorry, it's just concentrating a second there. Rare miracle. That with... Um potato cakes oh oh god I'm getting hungry now how long would we be going on for one hour 41 minutes good god honestly anyone who's been here since the beginning I salute you I really do I knew this was going to be uh, a long one but uh, not quite this long Ah, I've had, well, <laughs> okay, I've had an Ulster fry, um, but I did have it at Belfast Airport, um, so I don't think, uh, I don't know how accurate that actually is. Hang on, what's this? There is absolutely nothing good about Iron Brew. Dude. Ian, I'm shocked. Jesus Christ, what's going on with the scenery there? They must have had a heather fire down there. Something's gone wrong. Um, Iron Brew is the drink of the gods. Or one of them. But I only tend to have it in Scotland. Exactly, Jim. And it's full of iron, of course. If you're taking iron tablets, don't bother. Don't bother. Just drink iron brew. Of course, I'm joking. I'm not a qualified doctor, although it might surprise some people. Um, after that uh, amazing rescue we did there and the way I'm treating the patient to a a flyby of the Glenfinnan viaducts, but then he is he is a Harry Potter fan, they've just told me from the back so he won't mind <laughs> Jim, you are funny mate is it really Ian? That's a, that is a shame. That is a shame. There you go, there's the Glenfinnan Viaduct. So in Forza, I think you have to drive to uh, the kind of western side of it, where I'm going here, and then you do a race back down a gravel path. Does that ring any bells? 
There you go. You'd have your Harry Potter train coming along there. If anyone wants to sing the theme tune, now's the time. Because I ain't going to do it. You'll be relieved to know. Well, look, Ian, as everybody knows, Iron Brew is made from girders. There is nothing wrong with a human being ingesting a little bit of girder. It's good for you. You're certainly not going to get any girder from your normal day-to-day -day diet. So, um, it's a girder supplement. What can I say? You right, fella? Yeah, having a good time? Good. So we're just going to come around this valley here because we do need to get some height. So just sticking to the lowest ground that I can just while we climb up. And then we'll pop over the top here and then uh, kind of transit at a reasonable altitude across the way. Watching the power there, just trying to get as much out of it as I can without overcooking it. Slowing up as we climb, but uh, that's the nature of the beast. <laughs> Sorry, five hundred reading the chat. There we go. To the sound of the pipes and a yield tack the high road. That's exactly what we're doing. Look at that. It's beautiful up here. I'm gutted I'm not here in real life. Next year. Right, let's just week across here. Get a wiggle on. Blimey. Five hundred. Here. Is it really that bad? You know what, Ben? Uh, we haven't had one yet, but there are some of us that are sophisticated enough to appreciate a helicopter flight. And uh, we keep saying that we are going to do a helicopter group flight. So um, the answer is we haven't done one yet, but we are going to do one at some point. This is actually, I mean, this is a little bit too far for or too long for a group flight maybe, unless you've got hours to kill. I mean, what's this? One hour, one hour, 49 minutes, this flight's been going so far. Um, but certainly there's certain aspects of it. Mountains and helicopters, it's just fantastic. Well, I'm 500. Glad that, I'm glad that FPS thing sorted itself out. I'm guessing that was the traffic, but I will be heading over to the Cairngorms just to have a look at that. See if I can figure out what it was. something else you can buy up here is iron brew pastels I mean come on genius it's a nice little lock 500 there's some camping next to that with those views wow so 
So, yeah, that's good. We're just so happy. Five hundred. The, the route I'm taking, believe it or not, I am kind of following a route. Uh, is now starting to shape up a little bit like the route we need to take to drop our passenger off, which is quite handy. So lucky with this weather. Quite often doing this kind of flying up here, you have to uh, fake the weather a bit. 500. But uh, this is perfect. We've got a... What's that? We've got a 17 knots coming from 151. So, 500. Uh, and now it's changed, so we've actually got a tailwind. But we're not getting buffeted around too much. cooking it a bit. Let's just calm it down a bit. Calm it down. So we're coming up to Sky, that's Sky over there. Um, I've only been to Sky once in the sim and that was in a Spitfire so it was very low and fast. I've not, uh, not seen it up close uh, taking the time to look at it, so it should be should be quite beautiful. The detail on that scenery, just amazing. Sky, and then we'll go to the Carl of the Calche, and then we'll come back round. The hospital is actually en route, so uh, he can wait another few minutes. Yes, flagging a little bit again. That is the intention, Ian. When I say hit Sky, I don't mean actually hit it. That would be rather defeating the object, oh boy. Tea, please, boys. Thank you. <laughs> okay, it could turn into a game of conquers, couldn't we, Ben? Dangle him out take a good run up. Everything's looking okay. So this is purely just, um, you know, VFR nav. It, uh, 
This has got a full suite of avionics as you can see. You can fly IFR in it. Um, but uh, we're kind of wasting its capabilities today really, but it's rather nice. Plus you get the entertainment of seeing me trying to hover and uh, land at hospitals. Hospitals I think are always a bit hit and miss because it largely depends on the what scenery is in the sim. If you're lucky you'll have a nice clear baked in um, landing pad. If you're unlucky you've got a forest so we'll find out. Yeah I think um, that's the great thing about this helicopter because it's got the uh, synthetic vision and all that kind of stuff. You can do that kind of IFR mountain rescuing. Um, and the, yeah, totally different challenge. And there's so much to learn on this helicopter as well. It really is, really is study level. I'm just doing what I'm doing now is really just the tip of the iceberg in terms of uh, you know what systems that we've got available to us and all that sort of thing because I've got no nav plumbed into it I haven't got you know I could change the, the left hand screen to uh, to nav mode you can do all sorts of things with it Interesting, the FPS taking a bit of a hit again. So there's the Carl of a Kalsh over there. Feels good, thanks to the boys with the Land Rover. Interesting to see what the bridges are like. Oh, there's the bridge. If, uh, this is another one of these have you watched questions, if you've watched or read uh, Ring of Bright Water, uh, that was just, don't you freeze up, just over here on the island. Eileen Ban, Ban need to brush up on my uh, Gaelic but that there is where Gavin Maxwell's cottage is you can just it's got kind of got a autogen building in there but uh, that uh, sanctuary has now got a dirty great big bridge next to it so it's probably got a completely different vibe Yeah, I need to play with the autopilot more. I just um, part of the fun for me of flying the helicopters is is the hand flying. Um, I rarely use the autopilot, and uh, I think one of the things I need to do is um, do a bit more studying on the uh, systems, and then do some proper IFR flying using the autopilot, trying to get a bit closer to five hundred all, all weather. Uh, you know, all weather HEMS operations really, um, which you can do in this. Unfortunately, I just tend to get a bit carried away saying, Oh, isn't that pretty? and just flying around. So we got the hospital up on the nose there. This is the bit where I start uh, praying that we've got a good landing pad. Broadford airstrip just down there.
So you just see on the nose now, you can see the flare. Um, that's probably not something that you get, uh, not something that you get with uh, the real world hospital operations. I'm sure they don't get a porter to leg it out and let off a, uh, a smoke flare. But uh, it certainly helps in this thing to uh, find where you're going, although we've got it on our mission map down there. And uh, we're still nicely on course for the trip that we're doing. What is the time now? Okay. That's not bad. Big, big thanks to uh, those that have been here since the beginning. You really are amazing. Right, let's just get sorted out. Okay, let's turn off the A trim. Take out the cyclic. So what have we got? So we've got a baked in. Okay, okay. We've got a baked in helipad uh, with some trees around it. What could go wrong? So I'm just looking at the wind now. I don't think the wind favours the approach that I'd like to take because of the trees. But uh, let's have a look. Yeah, this uh, this is absolute pants from the. Uh, actually, no, it's not. No, it's not. Yes, it is. If only I had a third hand so I could close that tablet. Of course, something else this has got that I've not activated is it's got a really handy hover mode on the uh, where the HSI is. Yeah, I've overcooked that. Now I've completely lost visibility of the landing site. So let's uh, come round. Whoa, okay, let's go. Whoa! I had a lucky escape there. That was uh, very amateur. Right, let's close that. Yeah, once you lose sight of the landing pad, again, in real life, they probably have people hanging out the doors telling you uh, where you were, but in this, you really have got to keep an eye on it. So let's come back round. And if I can't get it down from this angle, this time that I'm just going to have to try and approach uh, that isn't great for the wind but it's more favourable for visibility because what I'm trying to do is come in over these trees uh, but it's getting me a little bit high for stop messing about. There we go. Right, engines to idle. Pop outside. Phew. Yep, 
Yeah, Ben, I would have chosen a different route for that, apart from the fact that um, I was having to take into account the wind. The wind is uh, is kind of 40 knots and coming from the water, so having to point the other way. But uh, if, uh, if we had no wind, it would have been easier to have kind of come in from that direction, without a doubt. Right, fella, that's it. Get rid of him. Oh, you can fly. It's like uh, it's like watching Santa with his reindeer. Don't don't chuck him over the edge. Did he just chuck him over the edge? That's the kind of service you get. Uh, no. Orbital. We are now. Uh, just doing a quick flight across sky and then going to land uh, up at Dunvegan Castle. So not a huge amount left now, but uh, done the bulk of it. That's because you are a very clever scenery designer, Ian. Um, I mean, one of the... Uh, one of the great bits of fun about flying to helicopters uh, using this add-on in this sim is that you never quite know what you're going to get. We were lucky because we've got this baked-in landing pad and the trees, uh, you know, a reasonable amount of clearance. I've seen a lot worse. A lot worse. Uh, okay, so mission complete. We've done that. Submit report. Uh, patient had a lovely time, lovely sightseeing. He was so happy. He's there now telling all the hospital staff, you'll never guess what. Not only did he come and pick me up, we then had a lovely flight. We went to Ben Nevis. We went to the Glenfin and Viaduct because he's a Harry Potter fan and he was quite happy to see it. Boys, if we don't get a medal for this, I don't know. Right. Okay, let's get back into uh, concentration mode a second. Uh, okay, that's off, that's off, that's off, that's fine. Both engines are in flight mode and I'm going to take off. Let's have a look. 10 knots. Okay, so I'm going to have to uh, lift off, turn and then head off over the water for a moment. Some height, let's turn, let's not fly into the building. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Wave at all the happy holiday makers as we fly over and head into the island. Please know there are no more have you watched references. Um, I've never been to Sky in real life. And I don't know of anything that was filmed on Sky, although I'm sure there's been plenty. But it's a pretty beautiful place. inspiration for this flight or this part of the flight from a program on BBC called Highland Cops it's on uh, BBC iPlayer and they did a segment over here and god the scenery was just amazing it's actually incredible how it's uh, an island but it is just so mountainous some more of that shadowy land that you sometimes see where the shadow is baked into the into the scenery which does look a bit odd
So how long have we been going now? Two hours and ten minutes, good God. in shadow there. We have trees on black ground. Helipad, you done for Shropshire in? So an M MSFS of us. weather is spot on it really is so lucky so here we are coming up into the uh, mountainous bit if there are any uh, experts on sky feel free to uh, chip in oh sure is pretty cool my parents used to live uh, literally next to well next to the hospital no other way of saying it used to uh, watch the air ambulance coming in. Having done a few tours at RAF Shrubbery, the old man decided he wanted to settle in the area. 500. In that 500. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous scenery, wow. 500. It would be great to get the, uh, get the old camp out out and put a camp right down there. Land the helicopter, set up a camp boys said something about they wanted some five-star accommodation though that uh, had enough of the camping thing uh, have you it is just beautiful here Ben I, I can't even begin to imagine how lovely it must be to come up here in real life stunning scenery amazing that an island can have so much of this lumpy bumpy stuff going on. I must get over here sometime. I've been to Carl of the Kalsh but never actually uh, across to the Isle. Let's concentrate on what we're doing instead of looking backwards. Yeah, I can 500. 
caravans and camper vans have a tendency to uh, get in the way. Gorgeous. 500. Scenery. Times like this, I wish I could speak Gaelic because the, uh, the names on the map for these uh, ridges and everything look absolutely fantastic, but there is no way in hell I'm going to try and pronounce them. Because uh, the language is just too beautiful for me to murder it. Don't worry, don't worry. I know 500, but we're okay. Gorgeous. Right, we're going to head over here now. There is a lot of bends. Watch the speed, boy. Come on. There we go. Orbital, you missed nothing apart from me waffling on about how beautiful the scenery was. Which, let's face it, has been most of most of this uh, stream probably. sunshine or I'll send the boys in the background all right honestly these backseat pilots there's absolutely no reason to be nervous 500 it's a little bit like um, pilots that are air sick they take him up in the vomit comet they give uh, loadmasters and crew to me to uh, help them with their air sickness. So we're just following the A87 here. Over a flat a bit of uh, the aisle. <laughs> ben Nervous was very clever, Ian. I did like it, genuinely. <laughs> My head tracking off kilter, bear with me. That's better. That's a nice little burn, but it's not really a burn, is it? So we're just coming over a camping ground. So let's give them a give them a little waft of our spinny roof racky thing. Oh, it's just over there. Okay, it's got autogen on it. I was looking for something that looked a bit more like tents and things. Hey Jep, yeah, it's just uh, bog standard here. Oh, 
Oh, well, there's a Candle Visitor Centre just over there if anyone wants to jump out and have a look at that. Poor tree. Some uh, wobbly mash there. Can't beat a bit of wobbly mash. Yeah, I love the shark orbital. I don't think he's still here, but uh, I keep begging Lewis to consider doing the P-51 in uh, MSFSFFF. I missed that. I actually took the step the other week. I had, I did have P-3D also um, installed on my machine, but uh, the other week. Uh, after the command should be released, actually, I, I just deleted P3D. Uh, I'm not using it, and I find it very difficult to enjoy um, P3D scenery now after flying in this uh, with the scenery and the lighting and everything. Um, once you've flown in this sim a bit, it's uh, yeah, it's difficult to go back, but God. A good P-51 would be amazing. Now this looks quite interesting ahead because that actually looks like we've got some realistic scenery modelled there. Yeah, I think the sad truth about Warbirds is that commercially most simmers these days want um, either want airliners or uh, <laughs> maybe um, certain GA aircraft but Warbirds is very much a niche thing I mean it's one of the reasons why uh, you know there's a huge section of the flight sim community that aren't really attracted to my channels is because I don't do any of the uh, the airliner stuff um, but warbirds is warbirds is warbirds. That's interesting. Look at that. I'm gonna say that's an old settlement, but um, uh, another friendly. Good to have you with us. Alpha one now. Thank you for following, mates. Good to have you along. Here we go. Old man of store. Looks like they've actually modelled it. 500. Which is nice to see. If anyone was on the uh, on the stream the other day, we went to um, the old man of Hoy, and the old man of Hoy was not around. The old man of Hoy was looking very flat and dejected. 500. Five hundred. Yeah, that's true, I've done the VA vids. I quite like doing that. I, maybe, you know, even if it's just one flight a week or one flight every couple of weeks, I like to do the VA thing just to keep my hand in doing IFR and ATC and uh, all that kind of good stuff. It's just, the scenery is just ridiculously good level of detail yeah I completely agree with you there Ian I think um, although uh, they're still for me personally an I 500 very much the exception rather than the rule this there's still a little bit all right airlinery uh, for me personally um, what Just Flight do is uh, is really good in that they do airliners with character. Alpha, I did not know that. Thank you. I'll be checking that out so the next time I go to Ian's uh, HMS turn, I nearly said the other one. Um, there is an old man of Hoy to look at. That's great. I'm 
to off in there, could, there's a waterfall there by the looks of it. Right, let's just, uh, there we go, Get the track IR, no, I keep saying track IR, it's Grass Monkey. 500. So what's this, Trottenish Ridge. I vaguely remember something about this being a important area of landslide. There you go. So uh, the other day we had a bit of history. Today we have a little bit of geography. Actually the landslide's up here, isn't it? Yeah. 500. Yeah, I think this must be it over here. Doesn't quite look as impressive as it does in the sim as the photo I saw of it the other day, but hey ho. So fuel is still good. Plenty. Gonna have no problem getting back. So we'll just weak it over the top. Five hundred. Have a good look from up here. Look at that. Amazing. So what helicopters are great for in the sim is uh, having a look at scenery like this. Right, we're on the home leg now. You'll be pleased to know. you long enough so what have we got, got about uh, 30 nautical miles now to Dunvegan Castle I haven't got a Scooby if there is a good landing area in the sim I haven't looked at it in the sim I just thought there's going to be somewhere there to set us down so why not have a quick look at the outside. Not that one. Gorgeous repaint by Panther Repaints. Love it. Uh, can we just concentrate on the flying? Not that one. Okay, this is dangerous. This is dangerous. There we go. Let's get control back again. I don't know what that view is going to. Right, just let the scenery load in again. Yeah, I've obviously got some kind of static view a million miles away that it keeps jumping to. Not very clever. I should do that sometime. I should do an IFR, an IFR Hems session stream. Won't be very good for sightseeing, but uh, at least you'll get to have a good old chortle at my blind flying technique. Mind you, being realistic, we'd use the autopilot, really, wouldn't we? Lovely. Don't worry lads, we're not far now. You get to your hotel.
Det er ikke snips en tassis. An iron brew. Other drinks are available. The autopilot is definitely something I need to uh, spend some more time studying. There is so much you can do in this helicopter. But like I said earlier, I just love doing the hand flying thing. I think there's an incredible freedom with helicopters. There's a freedom with flying anyway. But with helicopters, with the ability to uh, hover and fly incredibly slowly and get into places you can't do in fixed wing. Um, it's just a joy to it and as I said right back at the beginning um, in VR it's just beautiful. Should we certainly be checking out the Cairngorms again to see if getting rid of traffic solved the FPS issue because I've not really seen it much since then. That was very strange. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, Ben. You've got to, got, to, got to keep your wits about you, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. It is one of the lovely things about flying up here in bad weather is that every now and again you do pop out of it and it's just like, wow, that was nice. Oh, back in the clag again. Cheers, Orbital. Take care, mate. in the back are getting excited because they can almost smell the steaks on the uh, grill. I hope they're not too disappointed by what we find at Dunvegan. Hey Tom, I hope you are well. Yes, we uh, after two and a half hours we're literally about to land. I say land. I mean land. Look at that lovely little stone bridge there. Damn it. Yeah, there it is. Little stone bridge baked into the scenery. Again, that's one of the great things about flying around in a helicopter is that uh, you can see little things like that and you can... Um, you can have a closer look and if you've got an overactive imagination like me you can then get out Parallel 42's camp out and you can build a camp next to it. Right, what have we got? So, castle's over here. I have no idea what we're going to be presented with in the sim. It would be rather fantastic if there is actually a castle but I don't think we're going to see one. I'm looking around. Let's just uh, zoom in on the map just to make sure. Okay. So I'm guessing that's the car park for the castle, but I'm not seeing a castle. Let's have a look. There 
it is. Oh my god, it's there. It's there, look. The castle is there. There is no way on God's green earth I'm going to land on that uh, courtyard. But... appearing in the chat there. Need to figure out how to turn those off. Yeah, that is a nasty slope on there. Don't really fancy putting it down in that courtyard. What have we got here? Ah, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Let's have a crack. that. Okay. Let's get the landing area visible. Let's get the helicopter stable. And let's come in. over here a little bit actually and week is round I see Ian is disappointed you want me to land on the slope in the castle all right Ian as it's you I would not want to disappoint you so let's cancel that. Uh, at this point in time, uh, I'm instructing my lawyers to say that if we do crash, if there is any bodily injury, it's Ian's fault. I'll give out his address at the end of the stream. Right. This is not good. I'm high. I've lost visibility of the landing area. Need to get a measure of that slope as well. Let's get control. Let's not run into the building. It is really... Because of that slope, it's hard to judge. Because the visual cues are telling me that I'm... Okay, let's just forget about that. And... Well, that was a bit rocky. There we go. Plenty of room to spare. So there you go, Ian. Just for you, mate. Hope you're happy. Something tells me you're going to post a screenshot later on the Discord of your perfect landing on that spot, Ian. If I know you, I think you're going to be doing that. <laughs> well, there you go. Let's uh, put the engines to idle. What's the time now? Wow. So, um, yeah, what was that? Two hours, two hours, 38 minutes. So, uh, longer than I'd planned it for, to be. But uh, I hope you have enjoyed the flight. Anyone who is still here from the beginning, as I said earlier on, absolutely salute you. Thank you for coming on along for it. It has been a long one. Um, but it's been good fun. 
and I've enjoyed having you along. So thank you for your company. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Not quite sure what I'm going to do for the next stream or when it's going to be. At the moment, I'm just kind of playing with different ideas. Um, I know from the last stream, especially people on the YouTube channel who are used to me doing a certain style of video, um, it's kind of not what they're used to seeing. So, uh, uh, yeah, I need to have a look at that, try and make sure that people who used to watch on YouTube, uh, it, there's something for them to watch as well. But I'm still going to be doing the YouTube videos like I always used to. Nothing's going to change there. Well, that's for sure. Right, let's have the battery off. Right. Well, me and the boys are going to go and grab a steak now. Thank you ever so much for joining the stream. It's been great having you on board. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care now. Good.